Dave. <laughs> we have some great conversations before the show starts. Oh my gosh, these guys are a trip. Hey, hello, hello, hello. Welcome to Over Coffee, our morning talk show on the Long Island Tabletop Streaming Network. That's lit. We're lit. Take, take notes, John. Take notes, John. <laughs> take, take notes, John. Uh, and uh, uh, now, now he now Doug threw me off. See, uh, I'm here with my co-hosts, Rich, John, and Doug, and uh, we'd love to uh, have you join us in chat in the morning. We're here Monday, Wednesday, and Friday at 6:30 a.m. Uh, and or and or uh, watch us later on Twitch or YouTube. And uh, don't forget to hit that follow button. Um, or subscribe or like or comment and uh hey i missed monday's show but i just watched it last night what you guys are chatting about and stuff like that i thought it was interesting Sorry with john getting some property upstate with you guys giving john a hard john, time you're getting property upstate i'm sorry did i say john i mean rich Oh, it's looking at problems. Well, I'm looking to a tile at some point, so it's not oh. the worst idea. Well, there you go. And, to, <laughs> and it's today is I came up with all by myself. <laughs> <laughs> and today is the last day of March, uh, in the year of the apocalypse plus March 31st. So That's we've got be especially apt today because today is the uh, it's the death of Mario. So what does that mean? Um, no. So today is the last day that certain Mario titles are going to be available on the Switch for really? no reason whatsoever. And it is a pretty contested topic on the internet because it, we've actually talked about it in the past. But So Nintendo did a, a for Mario's 35th anniversary, they did two special titles. They did Super Mario 3D All-Stars, which was a re-release of the Nintendo 64 GameCube and Wii Mario titles, Mario 64, Mario 64, Mario Sunshine, and Mario Galaxy. And um, they put it out in physical form and also digital download. However, today is the last day you can get it on the, on the digital shop. They're basically pulling the plug on it after midnight tonight. Wow. That's crazy. Yeah, especially because it's digital. Like physical, you can understand that they maybe don't print out continuously uh -huh. digital there's no reason for them to pull it and yet they, that's what they're going to do is this well, to like to, to set the hype train for new products or something or what yeah probably well, they released it last year in october so like everybody thinks that it was like um i mean everybody was excited about it i mean arguably the overall product itself was a little shoddy compared to what some other companies have done um but the point is that people were more upset about the limited availability especially because it was in the middle of a pandemic and uh sorry i'm having to talk over my family um people were upset about the limited availability and the fact that um nintendo is doing this in the middle of a pandemic for really no justifiable reason other than fomo fear of missing out mm, okay yeah. especially because like today is the last day of their quarter it's their annual quarter so it's one of those things of like um Drop it. Um, well, 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 John, well, what, what's, what's the, who cares if they're going to take it down? Everyone should just buy it today, then, if they're going to buy it. I think he's having a conversation with his family right now. Or his dog. Oh, I think he's chasing his dog down for his breakfast. Chase oh. it. Chase so, it. all right, just not to, not to counter, not to counter John in, in, in any way, except for uh, I, I just want to. Sure, um, about that. There, that, that is not one of the uh, contested uh, contested conversations on the internet. There are 11 silly things that the people have debated on the internet the past year. And uh, Nintendo removing that. I just, I'm just saying. No, it's, not that they're it. it's not that they're rebooting it. It's that they have a product removing that, it. that's popular that they're removing the product. Oh, I'm sorry. I thought you said rebooting. Right, no. No, no, I was just say you said it was one of the contested uh one of the contested topics on the internet. So well, I I've, I've seen people on Twitter and YouTube talking about it. Like there's people who I follow who it was, are it was just discussing a, it. Just a joke, John. So Google says you're wrong. <laughs> no, so so I did that. Just I put contested topics on the internet into Google search to see what came up. And they said in two thousand nineteen, here are the here were the hottest here were, the, here were the most popular arguments on the internet in 2019. This is where we've gone. 
Yeah, but that's 2019. You're no, no, a year behind. I, I, yeah, 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 I get it. But it was the first one that popped up in Google search, which means it's still the most relevant. <laughs> that's okay. Because yeah, nobody, it's actually it's, a fact. It's, it, fact. it's a fact. It and, and, this, and, th and nobody's paying for them to be higher. So, number one, what's the best way to draw an X? And then they have different arrows on which way you should draw an X. Number oh, wait, two. Wait, wait, wait. When you draw an X, it's not when you're trying to draw like a picture of the last person you slept with? No. Okay. No, every no, not everything goes back to Matthew. For, for not everybody. like Titanic, like the, where he's like, where she's like at the. Correct. Yeah. Uh, okay. Number two, are St. Louis style bagels a food crime? <laughs> <laughs> that was the most disgusting on the internet. Oh, that's great. Right, right. That that was that was one of the <laughs> most popular. Should you John, bite? Should you bite or lick your ice cream? John, those three <laughs> topics are more contested still. From 2019, then Mario being removed from the Switch. Oh. No, but that's because of Google search and weird analytics crap. That's so not... let me, let me, wait, wait, wait. Let me, let me throw this up there, uh, just to go back to John's, John's thing, because Zyno wrote something in in chat that I have a question. They can't remove anything that you purchase. So no, somebody they bought. Can't... If they can't remove what you've purchased, but they can make it so that nobody else can buy it. Correct. Well, okay, so go and buy it now. Yes. Like if it's the last day, buy it now. That's why. Well, that's probably. Like, that's why they're doing it. If it's something well, that, that you could buy, that's why they're doing it. Why? Because like, what if some people are not in a position to buy it, or what if some people well, haven't John, been born yet might want to experience it? All right. How about this? How about Disney taking uh, movies? Oh, oh, hold on. Hold on. Hold sorry. on. Uh, Zynar, they can't. It doesn't matter whether they shut down the store; they cannot take away something that you've already paid for unless it's under a subscription payment. Um, right, but so, they can't. They can't no, make no, it unavailable hold, to anybody else. Hold, right, right. I understand that, but like Zynar said, is except when they shut down the store. So it, it's it's not. They can't do that by. It's part of. It's part of uh, offering digital as opposed to physical. They can't take that away from you once you purchase it. They have that's to. actually interesting that that came up because something else that's going around is Sony is shutting down the PlayStation Store on the PSP, the Vita, and the PlayStation 3. So there are certain titles that like, if you have a PlayStation 3, a PSP, or a Vita, um, support for those online will no longer be a thing. Even if, let's say, you know, you again that you did buy something and need to re-download it, this is officially shutting down. The only well, time that Nintendo had to deal with that is when they shut down the Wii Virtual Console and the Wii Online service. Um, so, like any any content that was available on the Wii in a digital form is now completely gone, and that well, only happened in the last two or three years. Uh, John, so I think the thing there is like for PS for Sony, it's if it's no longer a supported platform, then you know at that point they have to you have to download what you own, you know, because you still have the availability to do it, right? You still have the availability to take what you own and put it somewhere and store it, right? And that's kind of your responsibility at that point, I guess. And that, it's happened in the past, so like I'm not surprised by that. Yeah, from they, other... again, if you purchased it and it's sitting in the it's sitting in digital space, they still have to make it available to. Yeah, so there's going to be some sort of way of making it available. They have to do it. It's like, what is it? That's like international law at this point, I guess, or like. Well, like, I don't, I, I don't law? know. I don't know specifically, but they can't take something from you that you purchased, uh, depending on what the user agreement. Not that anybody ever reads them, but you know right. the terms of service. But right, I, you know, I, it's something I learned about a long, a while ago on one of these uh, microtransaction games. Oh God! That once once you purchase something for real money. They can't delete your account unless the, unless the game itself shuts down. Right. And unfortunately, Which in the is... digital age, that is something that can potentially happen. Like, if you own some of the stuff that you bought for these consoles, no, you own it forever unless your system blows up and the online service is shut down. No, like, I own several games up. that I bought. Like, there are several games that I bought on the Wii Virtual Console that have not been re released, that are exclusive to that, that are now basically just gone unless the company that created them decides to re-release them in some other shape or form, but there's no way to guarantee that. Well, download them again. What are you talking about? You can't if the download service doesn't exist anymore. Yeah, fair enough. Well, then you have to contact your uh, service provider. But anyway... But that's, actually, saying... that's one of the arguments that some people have in favor of piracy, 
and that if the official channels no longer exist, uh, there's such a way that you can support it. Uh, anyway, so like going back to my original statement was that when you were talking about, let's Here's let's go to let's, the Switch store. Let's talk about Disney or and Pirates of the Caribbean. I'm just kidding, but how do how how do you think if they do things at Disney? You know, when they put a, a movie in the vault, why do you think they do that, John? Like, it's, it's intentional. It's, it's intentional to drive up. Exactly. It gives, it gives the vault watchers something to do. Well, sure. But, like, you know, also it realistically says, hey, we're going to put this in the vault on this date. So that means you can't get it after this date. So everyone go out and buy it right now before we take it out of the vault 10 years later. I mean, it's very similar. It's a very yeah. similar concept. We're going to be like, hey, we're putting Mario in the vault right now. You better get it for the last time before you can't there do it anymore. Is, but there is a slight difference for that, however, though, in this day and age. And the reason being is this. That was popular for Disney when the means of accessing their content was limited in the sense of like, it. okay, you can't, expect, like, you can't expect them to be printing out new VHS tapes nonstop of the Aristocats. Like, they'd say like, hey, we want you to continue to make stuff in potential option of demand, you know, regardless of how well it's actually selling, is like, no, that's not going to make any economic sense. But if you make it a limited scarcity, a limited availability situation, people might feel obligated to buy it because they're going to worry about not being able to. Exactly. However, they still do it with Disney+. Plus. It's not all on Disney+. Plus. Yeah. Not all of it's on Disney+. Plus. But yeah. the thing of it is, though, is that in a digital age, you could just download that content, and the actual storage capacity for a lot of these things is not that severe. So it's like the... The idea of saying, like, well, something's going to be limited just because doesn't really fit the argument anymore in 2020. Like, it made sense when you had to physically manufacture stuff of, like, no, you can't expect somebody to make something forever in perpetuity. It's, basically so, be like, John, it's, it's, it's a sales tactic. It's, it has really, I don't think it has nothing to do with anything else. At this point, it's a sales tactic, right? Because, like, scarcity and, like, figuring that out, that, that has nothing to do with it anymore. It's more of a sales tactic. I don't know, Reg, Dave. What do you guys think? It's like I feel like it's a sales tactic at this point. Yeah, it sounds like a sales tactic to me. Um, I think um, just looking at some of these other topics, <laughs> that we, we don't have enough diversity on this uh, on this panel. Uh, and, sure. And, and I, th I really think we should get more diversity on here. But my my burning question is: Does the person flying in the middle seat get both armrests? <laughs> If it's if it's you, Rich, maybe because you're gonna be like, well, it's they're both mine. You you both have ones on the right of you. Get get away from me. <laughs> Good golly. Um, and then this is Let's what made me think about that diversity. What is the best way to put on a bra? I have no idea. <laughs> I, I don't um, know. I don't have a link at this point. I just don't I know, know the. I mean, I know the best way to take one off. That's not even right. It's not right in any way, shape, or form. It's not appropriate for six thirty in the morning. No. I don't know about you, but everything's appropriate at six thirty in right, the morning. No one else is away. Here's a six thirty. Here's a six thirty appropriate uh, question. Do you have to wash your legs in the shower? Yes. Yeah. Uh, maybe, maybe because, like, I would say yes, but like at the same time, doesn't the soap just run down your body? <laughs> that is the reason why it was debated. And, yeah. the, same, and the same question about your feet. Well, like, you gotta, gotta, like, you gotta, get that dead skin on. You, you can't just, like, you know, you can't just spray something with water and expect it to naturally clean. You gotta, like, you Actually, gotta scrub it. Just so you know, just so you know, like, water removes about 90%. Nine percent of germs. Yeah, but that still leaves that point oh one percent. And that's I'm not saying it's. I'm not girl, saying. I'm not saying you put more soap. I, I, I'm not saying it's. It, it's. Uh, <laughs> I'm not saying that you don't use soap. Ew. I'm just I saying. <laughs> so, but uh, so does John, do, you, do you use one of those? Do you want to use one of those um, exfoliating scrubbing sponges? Yes, those are the best I, things. Aren't they I, the best I, things? I, I don't only because they actually get a lot of bacteria in them. So it's you one have of to rinse like. them. You have to continuously rinse them, and that's why they're so cheap. You throw them out after after a week or so. Yeah, well, I think the the rule of thumb is you throw them out after three weeks. Oh, is it three weeks? All right. But yeah, yeah, I know they grow. I I know, but you use them. You rinse them out. You let them dry. You use them a few. You use them, I guess, a couple of weeks, and you throw them out. Yeah, I, 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 I love those things. Because 
Yeah, I go through loofahs and exfoliating scrubs like all the time. I get a you get an eight pack on Amazon. It, and, yes, yes, right. Amazon Basics. It, oh yeah, John. Richard and I are on the same page, John. See, John, you got to get on our level. I mean, you talked about the dead skin. That's why I'm asking. This is perfect yeah. for removing dead skin. Not only that, but if you think about it, if you're standing in the shower, it's not just water that's hitting your feet because the soap is going down from your body into the shower basin. And then, you know what that means? Do you know what that means? There's mm-hmm. soap down there. So if 99% of those germs come off from just rinsing it with water, and the other one percent gets removed from just rinsing it with soap. <laughs> yeah, but it doesn't always perfectly hit your body, though. Yeah, you know? like a lot of the times, like it tends to like just kind of flow you, wherever the water hits. I guess the point is, John, if you're going to be down there washing your feet and your legs anyway, scrub it. Use a scrub. Yeah. Use a use a use an exfoliating sponge. Do you use a sponge, John? Do you buy sponges? Wait, wait, wait. hold on. Wait, hold on, hold on, Dave. Do you, yes. you, do you use an exfoliating sponge? No. Oh, that's a shame. Do you use a washcloth? Uh, yes. Uh, yes and no, but, but yes. That's interesting. Washcloths, I, it's, that's, I guess, that's a different question. It's a generational thing. It is generational. <laughs> what? You, I don't know. I'm kidding. I'm just messing with you. Band over here. What happened? No, I just... Talking about like old times and scrubbing powders and things like that. Oh, John, I feel like you would go to like an old timey store and just like and and, and like uh, what's the word? A cosplay your shower. <laughs> Rich wants to laugh, but he can't do it. <laughs> uh, I was just and listen. We're just that we're we're look. We're two years behind on this, and we just need to catch up on the questions. <laughs> we, should start, we should start doing this in the morning. We should ask Google of a controversial topic that we should talk about. How many towels should you own? Oh my God, infinite. I'm just sorry. I'm, I, 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 I use one consistently and I wash it consistently, but like I have like 17. So, so how often do you, how often do you uh, exchange your shower towels? Uh, uh, once every four days. John, how, how often do you do it? Once after every other shower. Interesting. So, well, you're supposed to be clean when you get out of the shower. Hold on, like, hold on. How many showers do you take a day? I take, yeah, usually once a day. All right, so every other day, you're changing your towel, is what you're saying. Yeah. What okay. does the internet say? Oh, actually, it's just a debate point. We don't it's know just what debate the point. This is, yeah, yeah. this is just how many you should own, but right. that's actually an interesting question, is how often should you change your towel? Well, considering how when you get out of the shower, you're supposed to be clean, and that's clean water you're drying off of you, then technically your towel is still clean. As long as you dry it out, it should still be useful for another couple of days. That's actually the most important point. You know, a lot of people just fold it back up and put it back on the rack, and you need to actually spread it out and let it dry. You need to have a hanger. Have a yeah. Towel. yeah. Yeah, yeah. No, I, got a towel I have hanger. a towel rack. I got a towel rack in my bathroom. I think it's, first of all, it's important. That in my in my now this goes back this goes kind of more to like like the little things that you do to stay green and again it's not saving every little thing but it's just it's just one way to continue to like be green a little bit and and like conserve water and conserve other things right so in my opinion use toilet paper I I yeah, just, well, I, I just I mean, change it I change it at the end of the week um, yeah. I just because I just do because at the end of the week there's a routine at the end of the week right you place all the towels you switch them out you do whatever you do. You know, certain things that get um that get uh changed up every every week. That's John, just my... I do so Zainar has a really good point. He says, "Here's the situation: you need to change the towel more often because since you didn't since you didn't uh, use a scrubby or a washcloth on your legs, you just let the water run down. Then your towel gets dirty when you dry in your legs. That's right. That one percent adds up a lot. It adds up. That makes sense. Uh, <laughs> so, so that's like, wait, wait, wait. So that so that you don't have to wash your legs because your towel takes up the the slack. <laughs> right. <laughs> <laughs> but then you got to change your towel more often. We so, need to get Zynar on. It's right? actually like, yeah. He has the perfect. Zynar, Zynar gave me his schedule. Um, we need to. Um, I don't think you know. I, I love Zynar, but it doesn't help our de- our diversity. <laughs> Designer, okay, here's my question to Zynar. We need what, what, can he come on to our show next week? Uh, he's at work. Right uh, he's at work. Um, 
uh, Zainar, I'm looking at our conversation, and I know it's in here somewhere, but help me out. Send me another note. Well, the craziest uh, thing about this show is that for the first first time in months, we have three topics before we even sign on, and we haven't even talked about one of those yet. Okay. <laughs> All right. No, we did. We did. We talked about we the did. we talked about the Nintendo thing. Oh, no. what's the other topic? What's no, other I don't. Topic? I don't think Nintendo was one of the topics. Uh, oh. All right, well, that's fine. We have plenty of other episodes coming up. Hey, John. Oh, here, got, John, what was the that... corona? Wait, no, no, no. I want to hear about the cor- the corona restrictions that John was talking about. Oh, there, well, I mean, the, no, I was talking about this. Oh, corona cool. restrictions for, um, yeah, no. So, like, recently, I guess what? Now that the, now that vaccinations are more more rampant, I guess that maybe they'll let up a little bit more during the month. But um, before the vaccination, um, before vaccinations were opening, right, for every uh, – I guess for I think it opens for eighteen plus next week. In New York. Sixteen plus. Oh, sorry, sixteen plus next week in New York, right? That's great. And then I think it's today. It's ten. It's Twenty seven plus. Thirty plus. Oh, good. That means I'm technically eligible. But um, uh, so yeah. So before that happened, they were announcing that it, in order to go to a gathering of like X Y Z, right? Like similar to a wedding, you must provide a test that is three days or a minimum of three days old sorry maximum of three days old um that shows a negative result and i i mean i agree with it but like again if you if you're if you're not quarantining and you're and you're not vaccinated from that you know prior to the three days then i think that's um that's, right it doesn't help it's like okay you haven't shown symptoms and you haven't shown positive in three days but in those three days you could have been exposed and then it's like it still defeats the purpose, you know. Right, but but John, I guess I guess the whole point is that feeling of safety. And like I understand, I am I am fully for it. So if I'm when I'm going to these weddings, I will take a, a test three days before, and I will, I will, I work from home, so I don't need to really do much. So I'll just prepare and sit at home, you know. Like it's not a huge deal for me. Um, and and I I I, I fully support it, you know. Like I think that. It's not all of these restrictions, all of these things, and I know it's a con- it's a very controversial topic. All of these, all of these items, and like my girlfriend doesn't even agree with me on half of them, but um, I, I feel like it's for the person next to you. you know? Right. I don't, it, you know, for me, it's cool. You know, I get it. My freedoms are imposed, and people are like, ah, rah, you know, like you can't put me down. You know, take this away from me, and I go, well, you know, realistically, where it's a, it's a society, you know, and part of being in a society is. It, no, it's the same no, it's, thing. Like it's it's, it's this it's, argument. Giant. It's society. It's society. I was like, it's society. What like, we're living in society. You got to live by societal rules. You know, it's 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 safety be damned. The whole point is to make everyone else feel safe, even if it's not uh, even if it's not true safety. You know what I mean? Well, the problem with this conversation, and this might get extremely heated, is that there are better ways that they could handle things. But in terms of let's say what's better. And what's, let's say, what what politicians or people would determine to be, a, like, let's say, acceptable are not the same thing. Because, well, like, Dr. if we, we were following under, well, hold on, hold on. If we were following under what would have made the most sense, we would have entered into a full lockdown last year for, like, two or three months, like a lot of other countries did. The government would have provided full income support for everybody who is out of work. In terms of, let's say, necessary services, they would have implemented some kind of a system in place to make sure that, like, goods and delivers uh, i'm sorry goods and services were delivered so that people didn't necessarily have to go out to reduce the amount of people who are required to be on the roads oh. and then you know continue to have mask support and things like that over time and it's like huge, okay like hold on huge undertaking huge undertaking oh, i know but the but the alternative is that we're in a situation where we're a year out we're no more better than we are than before other than the exception that vaccines have been rolled out and over a hundred uh, uh, half a million people have died I would so, so like, I understand of like saying like okay this is a huge un- but like historical event like something like this you kind of need to make those big pushes and do things in ways that are like very drastically different than what came before because it's unprecedented you know no no I I agree um I was gonna say let's take a step back and not talk about stuff that's gonna get everyone heated but yeah. I don't want to get heated with five minutes left. <laughs> if I'm going to get heated, I want to get well, I mean, heated. Anything, it's, it's, I got 25 it's minutes to get it's heated. At 7 o'clock, at 7 o'clock <laughs> we can all just angrily go, bye, bye. <laughs> the thing you know, I was going to say, the problem is, is that they, hold on, hold on. The 
problem is he's got is, five minutes. He's gonna eat it all up. Go listen, John. Yeah. The, the problem <laughs> is is that politicians took what should be a a widespread issue that is is handled across the uh, handled appropriately, and it ultimately became just another culture war topic. Like no, they, it's not a, not a they, culture they, war topic. It's, it's, it, it's well, a po- it was a politics topic and not yeah, a culture yeah. topic. Sorry, no, because a cultural no, topic I mean, would be like, like towels, towels in the bathroom. Do you use them? <laughs> no, I mean, I mean, in in a way, because they 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 wrote. Okay, politicians weaponized it, but they use it on the idea of freedom and liberty and choice, which is in some ways it's a cultural thing. It's like, are you of somebody who follows what the government tells you to do, or are you somebody who chooses your own free liberty? Yeah, hey, somebody politics. from the government telling you don't listen to the government. You know what I that's, mean? That's politics. It's not. I don't think it's cultural. I think that more leans to politics because people are speaking onto those issues based on their political choice. So I think that leans more. Uh, I, it, it could be cultural in in a sense, but in my opinion, it's more po- po- political than it is the, cultural. The, the point is, is that, well, I mean, you know what? I mean, like, and look. Ultimately, the point is is that the pandemic was weaponized in a way that made it far worse than, let's say, if, if the government was on board to say, we're so, having a clear-cut solution to this, and that's how we're handling it. All right, so, John, however, got, whatever I have an you opposite. Feel about this, I have an opposite argument when you're done, uh, and, I, and it's an example. It's a prime example. Is, is, uh, can I, uh, so the, the, the England, England and its outlying lands, all right, they went into multiple lockdowns where, in totality, similar to what you're mentioning, and, and they went into multiple lockdowns, all right? Not, not, not one, not one that lasted like a while. Like they went into multiple six to eight week lockdowns where no one can move because it's like the UK, you know, they have specific formats for that, right? So like it, your, your, your example or your, your, your solution would state that 340 plus million people could not be moving in a land that is 3,000 miles wide and has a government for body that doesn't have the ability to govern all of those people in force. So, and, and also has completely a different rule set comparative to almost every single country in the entire world, right? Where, 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 where we have the ability to say, no, we don't want to listen to you because it's not illegal and you're not going to arrest me unless they put us into like some sort of a martial law state, right? Which at that point, then you can be arrested. But that goes down to, like mostly, I think the state level, I mean, federal, it can't be announced federally right now. I don't think that's not, again, someone correct me if I'm wrong, but you know, um, so, so my, so anyway, my point is your, your example, I feel like it is, it is viable, but you know, there are so many solutions that could have worked or could have worked that at this point, we just have to deal with the hand, the hand that we're dealt and we have to just move on. In my opinion. Right, but I think at that point, though, like you need to have people stop challenging what experts are saying, and even if, or even if you want to be critical, they need to come up with a solution that's safe, other than just saying I'm going to do what I feel like it, you know, because I don't think that this the threat is really that bad. And and honestly, like I think that anybody wants to make the argument that like you know this virus is not as dangerous as people are outlining it to be. Because talking about survivability rates and who it really affects and so on and so forth, it's like you can make that argument when thousands of people aren't dying on a regular basis. But until that doesn't happen, you don't get to make the argument that this whole situation is out of proportions or overblown, you know? So it's like I get that people want to return to a sense of normalcy, and it's like, well – like that's possible, but it might not be as quickly as you'd like. And I think, unfortunately, it's one of the things where the the quick the quicker you try to go back to normal, the longer it's going to actually take because you're just propelling the situation to make it worse. You know, right? Yeah, I, I agree. But you know, like the news networks are not. It's no longer political people, uh, pol- political parties that are weaponizing it. It's the news networks, right? So the news ne- networks network are spreading hysteria. You know, well, and, and it's, like, it's like a circular. It's a circular thing of like the news, like politicians say it, the news picks it up, and then it goes to the public, no. and then the public says it, and then politicians pick it up, and then the news say it. And then no, it no, no, it's more. On, it's more in the opposite section. I think, like you know, <clears throat> we have numbers that come out, right? The problem here's the big problem. 
are the numbers correct? And that's what a lot of people are discussing. And that's why a lot of people are 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 thinking, oh, is COVID even real? Is this real? Are we going to get affected by it? Because when you report 7,000 people dead in a state, and then everyone's like, oh, we're going to dig down. Let's see, why were the complications on their death reports? Oh, this person died from an aortic issue. This person died from cardiac arrest. This person died from an overdose of this, but it was reported as you know a COVID-related death. People don't believe it. Now, those complications could have been triggered from COVID, right? And I believe that it could have been triggered from any kind of a virus. Viruses right. could be the catalyst, and then the, the and then the death, the, the cause of death could be any any sort of you know um, functional just you know uh, what is it death you know from your from your body. But people are going to go and, and spout these conspiracy theories all over the place because oh, it's not a COVID related death. You can't. It's not COVID. It doesn't say COVID on the death certificate. It says heart failure, and that's a significant problem. When people don't believe it. Like and that and that's the fundamental issue it, we have in our country. There's, there's too many people involved for it to be con, to be a conspiracy. Nobody can believe it. I agree. I agree. Right. I, right. It's just it's crazy. Just, it's it, lunacy. It, it's like half the people right. that are that are saying conspiracy, conspiracy probably couldn't keep a surprise party a secret. They couldn't even spell <laughs> conspiracy, dude. <laughs> well, I think some of them could. But the point is, is that <laughs> you know, it's like you can't get those many people and scientists in a room and say, listen. Guys, we got this big lie, and we need everybody to contribute to it, okay? <laughs> it's also because the ironic thing is, is if you think about it, like, the people who are benefiting are people who benefited before the pandemic anyway. It's like, okay, so the pandemic's doing bad, so certain businesses are doing, I don't know, more business than they did before, but they were doing just for f- fine prior. So, like, are people really going to overthrow things to make more profit on top of making more profit beforehand? Like, well, or but even better, it's like if you if you want to dismiss the pandemic, it's like, oh man, like you're still using Amazon, like you're still you're still using like a lot of these things that are like that are still not even if the pandemic goes away tomorrow, Amazon's not going to not make money, you know? Yeah, and I mean, you're not wrong. It's I think that the difference is if the pandemic didn't happen, Amazon's and and like Walmart online and all these online companies' profits margins wouldn't have went it completely. It, it it changed. Okay. Yeah. The, the 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 it's almost like energy cannot be created and destroyed, just transformed. Our economy didn't actually disappear. Yes, the with the job losses and stuff like that, there was. But what happened was is. What got hit the hardest is real estate and and restaurants. Real estate is probably never going to bounce back because of the new model that a lot of companies have found. And but restaurants they will bounce back. Uh, the ones that were able to pull through, you know, they well, the ones that didn't. But people stopped going out. Commercial real estate. Commercial right? real estate will not. So, so people stopped going out. People stopped going to the clubs. Stopped, people stopped going to the bars. People stopped going to to like, movie theaters. eat out to movie theaters to eat out. Hey, listen, I always thought the movie theaters were a ripoff anyway. Yeah, Maybe well, they, they just came back. They just reopened. Right. They they, <clears throat> they did. They reopened, but hopefully they re- start rethinking their model because they can't make up all the money they're not making from the extra seats and the food. Right. <laughs> you know, because right. I'm not paying. Well, well, just to, so I agree with you on almost everything except for the real estate thing. The real estate market will bounce back because a lot of the commercially zoned real estate places are going to get uh, rezoned uh, residential. That's what my opinion is going to be. And who knows if that's going to even work? Yeah, I, I doubt it. I you honestly know, doubt it. Take, because there's only so many people. Because <laughs> a lot of a lot of uh, a lot of office spaces are in areas where you just wouldn't rezone them for residential. But right. that's not, but that's not to say that they won't. I think I think you're right. From a New York in a New York City, I think they'll be re, uh, they'll be redone. We are way over, so it's okay. We're leave. No, we're done. It's we're okay. done. We're done. Yeah, I gotta I gotta get breakfast. So yeah, John's gonna get me. John's gonna get me breakfast. John's gonna get me breakfast. That's not fair, John. You gotta get me breakfast too. I'm in Copeg. I'm getting myself a bagel. So oh, I'll meet you. I'm actually I was actually gonna go to Brothers. Uh, no, I mean, I'm at the Better Bagel. And Brothers is technically Lindenhurst, not Copeg. Yeah, I know. It's close, though. All right, Dave, yeah, take us home. Hey, hey, everybody. Thanks so much for joining us uh, for Over Coffee, whether you watch it later on Twitch or on YouTube. And Zynar, it is always appreciated that you join us in the morning and join in on the conversations and uh, – Give us some comic relief. <laughs> uh, pardon me. We will be here. Are you saying we'll he's be... a joke? He's no. He's here to amuse us? No, 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 no. 
He's, he's funny. He's funny. What do you he's mean? Not funny. Not funny looking. Just funny. <laughs> uh, join us again on Friday morning again, six thirty a.m. And uh, tonight I will have my show at ten p.m. right here on the same network. Uh, we're going to be talking about a board game. And Thursday night, tomorrow night is uh, Doug's painting show at uh, seven thirty. Watching will, paint dry. It's going to be a good time, of course. We will be painting Forge World tomorrow. Forge World. There you go. Forge World. Hey, everybody, have Super a great expensive. day. Thanks, guys, uh, for talking. I wrote down the topics that we didn't cover so we can cover them on Friday. And good morning, everybody. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning, Darth Vader. Good morning. Good morning. <laughs> Not funny, Zynar. Um, See what you wrote.